Here we are then, in Bali. Uh, today's episode is gonna be about the uh, Climate Smart Agriculture Science Conference, the unconference, in fact. We're gonna uh, figure out what that means in a minute, but let's go get registered. Morning. Hi there. Hello. I want to register, I'm Andy Jarvis. Hey. This is my friend Darani. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, how are you? How are you going? Look, this is my friend Todd. Hey. This is Steve. Hey guys. <laughs> All the gang are here. Wait, this is your YouTube? <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. Do you want to oh. say hi? Hi. <laughs> hi to whom? <laughs> hi to who else wants to watch. Okay. <laughs> hi. I'm Dual Climate Smart Guys. Oh, excellent. <laughs> this is my friend Robert Zugmore. Exactly. He's brilliant. Oh, thank you. West very much. Africa. Yeah. We and we have, we have Leo, Sebastian, Southeast Asia. We have all the experts here. <laughs> this is, this Hi, is Vita. I'm in your vlog. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> We've got four fans now. Four. That's brilliant. All right. So, Vita is the, the expert organizer of this whole show. Mm -hmm. Is it all okay under control? I hope. I hope. All right. So, I, I don't know if I've told you, Bruce, but I've become a, yeah. a YouTuber. Yeah. So come on, tell me, what is this about this uh, unconference? What's the idea of an unconference? We're trying to do everything totally different. What we're going to do today in about 10 minutes is create Beethoven's Ninth Symphony on Bamboo. I'm not, I've got to do a call. Yeah, you're okay, going to do it. Led ready. by Ishmael. Oh, right. <laughs> What's the plan? This is how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call you in a transformation and you're okay. going to respond. Pamberian in transformation! Sonia Vermeulen is going to talk next. Our story today actually starts with a footballer, Rio Ferdinand. On a trip to Singapore a couple of years ago, he tweeted, do you see it here? Nasi goreng lunch, keeping it local in Singapore. Well, I can feel the tension rising among the Indonesians and the audience, and needless to say, this caused a Twitter storm over Indonesia as outraged citizens rushed to defend their national dish. Leslie Lipper is getting grilled by Pramod Agarwal in a hard talk. I've done one of these in the past. It's horrendous. You just did a hard talk, right? I did one of those. Yes, yeah. it was hard. I did one about three three years ago. It was, it was very hard. It was very fun as well. Um, very energizing. It focuses, makes you get focused on what do you really think is important. Right. I realized what I think is really important about climate smart agriculture was the inst focus on institutions and that you have to come up with solutions that are very much based on the local conditions. But you kind of started Climate Smart Act, this kind no, of thing. No, I mean, with you... a big group of people at FAO. Okay, so the, you know, it's evolved into this. Like there's 300 yeah. people or something there talking yeah. about Climate Smart Agriculture now. Did you ever no. think it was going to be that? I think it, it really pinpointed a key problem that people were worried about. They don't know what to do about agriculture under climate change. And the fact that you are, were saying, look, there's more than one objective. There are ways of dealing with it. It's better just to recognize it. And here's, and actually, first, it started by just saying an argument of saying, you need to do this. And then you guys, particularly the CCAPs, I think, really came in and sort of like, and here's how you do it. So there's a super cool speed dating session coming on. Everyone's with their apps and they have to kind of exchange numbers with other people. I'm going to disrupt it a little bit. Let's find the, the guy who's winning and uh, distract him a little bit so he loses the lead. So 
Mate, Le Simon Bayer, here. I'm losing time with this bloke here. Simon is doing the speed dating and winning, and I'm here distracting him. <laughs> Mate, but I've, do you have a name? No, you don't. Andy, I Andy, do. Andy, let me check. Andy. Andy 515. Andy 515. Okay, so we've got a tent over here, which is the, uh, the cool innovation corner, which sounds, sounds excellent. Let's go and check that out. Like, so this is pretty cool. This is some kind of virtual reality thing. Let me just get a <laughs> Peter here with this. Okay, so do you see a white dot? I do. Is it open or closed? It is closed. Second turn. Second turn. All right, okay, here we go. This is Darani, come on then. Tell us, what's Paul Slab Jakarta up to? Ooh, Paul Slab Jakarta is up to data innovation around sustainable development for, for Indonesia. And for us, data innovation is around unique data sources and data analytics and then merging it with traditional big data sources and ground up data. So look, Sonia, you've been the hardest to track down here. <laughs> we're, we're now in the, the cocktail, but I managed to get Sonia. She was the rip-roaring keynote speaker today. She did an amazing job talking about... Um, Everything, spaghetti, Django. It was a trip through all the foods of the world. You and got Shah Rukh Khan, Rihanna. Egg, uh, celebrities, everything. Jamie I mean, you, you didn't mention me as the famous YouTuber, yeah, but uh, yeah. that's okay. She did a great story there about kind of how food is always changing. It was a great narrative. We're not going to get into that though right now. <laughs> what I'm interested in from Sonia is, and it's the question I've been asking today, social movements, right? Yeah. So a lot of what you were talking about yeah. is how, how liquid and flexible consumer behavior is. Mm -hmm. What the social movements are driving a lot of that. What's the role of kind of research and as social movements for change? Yeah, well, what, research, uh, what social movements often lack is a more subtle story. So they often just pick up on something like palm oil is bad the headline. or something like that. There's just the headline. There's nothing else. And so what researchers do is they communicate in huge detail to governments, for example, or a development agency but they never really communicate in any detail to social movements. So I right. think we could be doing a lot more to be talking to these people, talking to young groups, consumer groups, whoever it might be, and helping them weave a more sophisticated narrative, a narrative that could take them in smarter directions. There's a huge amount we could do. Yeah, no, but it's, it's, it's hard. I mean, like, we're not very good communicators as scientists, no, right? True. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a mistrust. I've actually talked to a bunch of people and have said, uh, you know, it's dangerous. Social movements are dangerous and we've got to make sure that the evidence is really clear and, 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 and be careful yeah. of fake news and all this kind of stuff. But, but, but we talk to governments. Governments are dangerous. We talk to private sector. Private sector is definitely dangerous. And this is the way to effectuate change. If you want to really yeah. change, you've got to get the social movements behind the evidence, yeah. right? Yeah. So, so it's got to be proactive. Yeah, and what we do is we lay some facts on the table. We are not responsible for how they use them, just like we're not responsible for how governments use the advice that we give. Okay, we're aligned. Thanks a lot. This is Sonia Vermillion, an amazing keynote today. This is Andy Jarvis checking out for <laughs> Bali.